Hello, everyone. Good evening. Um, I've been quite busy over the last couple of days. I was doing uh, some traveling. I was in uh, New York for a few weeks, and uh, so I've been uh, very busy. And also, um, and hi, everyone. Thank you for joining. Also, I put out uh, the request for some sponsors. And hi, Helen. I'm great. Um, so uh, I wish to share with you that I have not gone through all my messages yet. I didn't have much time on the internet, but I wish to assure you uh, that we have enough uh, to begin uh, the mission with, uh, you know, gatherings and uh, we keep just building it forward. And um, so there have been, at least at this time, uh two sponsors that have stepped forward very shortly and uh we have enough to begin with uh i'm trying to draw up uh let's say an outline i have most of that completed uh to what we will be doing uh, i'll be drawing up a tentative plan of where we will be stopping at uh, at this time it, it may be uh canada and going east possible uh, uh a u.s drop down or so we'll see what occurs with it everything is still being constructed so this is to let you know that uh yes uh, we are going forward with it and take it as far as we need to go and also i have a few posts uh that i'll be putting out and i have more to do in that respect so over the next day or so uh hopefully i will get more info out for you um uh, the meantime um the sponsors and ones donating i will wish to speak with you perhaps on monday uh, in, in a sort of call so i can inform you of what uh, we will be doing and but most of you know our intents and purposes is to get this show on the road and raise the vibration it's all about empowering uh each each of you and also more that i come into contact with as you know and uh also there are many that are awakening that are not even on facebook so again this is important that i i do get out there and i will be doing it and uh raising the vibration nothing stops this uh the ascension is ascertained so uh that's great now uh very quickly uh, one thing I, I wish to mention is that uh, any of you uh perhaps might have heard uh let's say one thing that jesus had said uh that would mark his uh, coming that is written in the bible i know it's religion and a lot of it has been manipulated however uh the christ is very real and one thing the christ makes reference to that would mark his coming is birthing pains now very quickly many of you may have experienced the maternal symptoms i've spoke about it others have spoken about it you know over the last few to several years so what i wish to say is that uh, that is uh, very uh interesting to hear in the least uh am i still online you guys yeah okay i guess i'm still running thank you um so uh currently i guess today uh also in the last few days um uh, we've been having um some phone issues and outages uh just to let you know this is normal um so communications weren't as uh great with that and uh, i know there are outages uh between some and also long distance so letting you know that uh, many things going on with the timelines experiences are 
are happening. Uh, so quick update on that. Um, getting back to the mission, I anticipate in perhaps about by a week's time that that will begin. Uh, I'd like to get some uh, feedback on that. I anticipate um, I'll begin in the Vancouver area and we'll work our way eastward and uh, I'll be putting out more information uh, over the next few days as we go along with that and construct uh, uh, a, a sort of a plan for that. Now, as I said, uh, I anticipate that um, this will be perhaps a short mission. I hope so. And by September that many things will have changed. However, it depends on the vibration, as all of you know that. So if we're able to be successful and raise the vibration uh, high enough, well, we'll be able to do this. So at this time, uh, I have not gone through all my messages. I believe there are some other sponsors there uh, to get this going and uh, we'll do this all as a team and uh, with the ascension community that it resonates with and that wishes to support this and uh, uh, with i i wish for everything to be fully transparent and we will be putting you know the progress out onto at least my uh, Facebook timeline and uh, giving you as much as we can on this. So more details to come uh, over the next two days. Uh, but I'm, I'm saying that, yes, it's a go. We're going to do it unless uh, we don't need to. But uh, nevertheless, we're not, uh, not waiting for the vibration. We're going to take action and... Uh, you know, begin raising the vibration in the lease. So uh, I'll answer some quick questions if we have anything uh, before I go. Any quick questions? Uh, it says Michelle Lynn, Rick, did you speak on the birthing pains in another live? Uh, Michelle, yes, periodically over the last year. Uh, in interviews, uh, perhaps I did with Linda Summer a couple times, perhaps in a live, uh, and I have written about it uh, because many have experienced that and ones that I know personally went through it. And uh, so it, it is real and, uh, you know, we can attest that it is so, but I just wanted to bring that to your awareness, um, you know, mostly because of uh, we know that uh, Jesus is real, and uh, we also know that uh, you know uh, some of the prophecies and uh, uh, you know the famous Hopi prophecies, the Mayans, that all of these things are correct, and what you are seeing at this time is confirmations of uh, some of those things that have not been altered and manipulated, like things in the Bible. Many things about Jesus in the Bible are incorrect. However, there are correct things that are in the Bible about Jesus. So, and, uh, and it is important, and that is also, you know, a, a big part of this ascension, the Christ, which we know. And just to keep it simple again, with this ascension and with the Christ, uh, the Christ ascended. And uh, with that, uh, the Christ is here now within each, within many of you, because you have the ability to also ascend, to keep it simply simple, out of these lower timelines. And that's what it's all about, empowering each one of you uh, to the maximum that we can. And many of you know you've had uh, your own experiences, uh, interdimensional experiences, and many other things with that and with the energy. So it's 
not speculation. It's not a guessing game. It's a, it's a reality for us. <laughs> so we know this. So uh, thank you for that uh, question, uh, Michelle. Yes, it has been spoken about and others have been speaking about, um, you know, birthing pains over the last year or, or even longer than that. Okay, just check and see if any more questions here. Hey, Robin Howard, Illinois. Hi. <laughs> yeah. So, I, as I mentioned, I, I was in New York and I uh, was in uh, Seattle, Washington for less than a day. So, uh, I was stateside and uh, just waiting on things to set up. So, that's why not much was going on in the recent past. So, anybody got any questions? I can take a few here. I think I'm down to the bottom. Last one I see on here is Heather Nielsen says, indeed, we do know this. And uh, perhaps that's about, uh, yeah, Heather, that's about the birthing pains, uh, I believe. Yeah, so your sister perhaps experienced them as well. So, if this is the right Heather. <laughs> So, I'll keep this short, however, let's see, hey, Joseph Lamb, <laughs> awesome, hi, Katie, Kane, hi, oh, Heather, from, okay, from Manitoba, yeah, Heather, uh, we'll be, as far as I know, we'll see how far we got to go, but I uh, anticipate coming across Canada and, you know, getting as many of us together and, um, as strengthening as many of you as possible. Uh, I uh, anticipate some one-on-ones as we come across as well to, you know, assist everyone to the highest. So I am uh, more so just putting all my time to do that. The time is, is right now. And as I said, we're going ahead with this. And uh, Mishy says she just witnessed seeing flashing, pulsating, sacred geometry. Uh, yeah, lots of cool things going on. People are uh, seeing actual things, things with the ships. And uh, if I had uh, a lot more time, if this was to be a lengthy live, I would have uh, had lots more goodies to share for sure. However, uh, as I said, the main object of, of this live is to let you know that everything's a go and that uh, we're working behind the scenes on here uh, or behind the scenes getting everything ready for this so um, we'll see what occurs uh, in the next few days and I'll have more info for you Uh, Jen Bruce, she says, does meeting a Twin Flames couples activate me, is what she says. Uh, Jen, if they're actual Twin Flames uh, to the degree that, let's say, their Merkavas are activated, yes, it, it does. Um, let's say that this energetic thing, because you activate codes and you pass codes on, that it is a contagious thing. To good degrees and everyone benefits uh, from it and uh, as for I I am one that uh, uh, I, I give out much energy and many codes and many activations from that um, everyone you can extract you know energy right from the air it depends on the degree of your advancement um, but always, and I also, I generate a lot of uh, energy outward always. And when I need energy, uh, some of you can look at ways to power up your energy on the Real Angels page or our Awakening Journals Ascension Tools on our Awakening Journals page. Um, 
and uh, you can find ways that powers your energy up. Uh, real good breathing exercise you can do in about three minutes, and uh, it will energize you uh, very quickly and give you lots of energy uh, to put outward. Uh, having said that, um, uh, on the Rio Angels page, our um, uh, our angels map. Uh, I wish to remind everyone, if you haven't done so far, uh, to put your uh, name on the map there. If we're making this uh, cross Canada tour or what have you, uh, it'd be great to see where the greater concentrations are at, and it would also assist us in looking for a, a centralized location uh, where we can you know get in a position where we can uh, make it easy travel for uh, for many so that would assist us if you feel comfortable with putting your uh, location on there that will assist as well I believe Garnet will be uh, or he may have already done it uh, re post the link to that uh, real angels map and and I also will be sharing it here in the near <clears throat> near future. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, the twin flame thing. Ah, Amelia, she says, happy Spa Father's Day. Yeah, I'm a father. Thank you for that so much. Um, so, Katie Serez says, what is... What is it? What is it that you are doing for everyone that they can't do themselves by connecting within? Well, Katie, that that's an excellent question. There's a lot of things. What's also occurring uh, with the mass awakening that there are ones that are not on social media, not on Facebook. Uh, they are awakening very rapidly. Uh, some don't know if they have choices. They don't know what's going on. Um, so in that way, uh, I can come in and we will, let's say, be putting posters up. Not posters, but, you know, putting up information on bulletin boards before we get to the communities that they will see them. And it will divinely be assured that the ones that need it will be getting there. Um, and what I do for everyone that they can't do for themselves, well, what I do is I assist. And if I see areas where they may need assistance in, I do give guidance. I do activate to higher levels. Uh, many can attest uh, by being in my presence afterwards what has occurred for them that was not there prior. So there is uh, many effects. And the things with it, is that everyone can't do things for themselves if they don't know what to do. And this is very important because there are new things coming out constantly and new gifts coming online. And I am and have always been a liaison between the prime creator and those needing assistance. If none needed assistance, Katie, with this, we wouldn't even be going through this. It would not be occurring. And I would not be doing uh, what I'm doing in others. So uh, there is many that, uh, like I, that can assist others where they cannot assist themselves. And this, this holds true throughout any of your energy work, any of your healing. Uh, if, someone, if someone could do it themselves, there would be no healers, Katie, because they would not need them. And this is where we're going to let everyone know that they can heal themselves and, and so much more. So uh, having said that, we always need teachers and ascension teachers and, you know, channelers delivering the new information. So it's all inclusive. And uh yeah, but, you know, very simply, uh, if we did not need it, ones like I, perhaps even you, Katie, we would not even be here at this time because we would not need to be here. 
So that is answered uh, pretty well with that. Thank you.